Quarantine affect me. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You were spending, did you realize you was it that you were Hell spending too much yeah. in safe? Hell yeah. But luckily, like he said, Tatiana was like, I I took that to the face. So it's still going. Like, what you mean you took that to you? All you got all your own? Yeah, like I get my royalty checks and publishing. All your publishing and all that yeah, yeah. shit. It works so out. Though. How much money has, has, like, has that impacted you? Not being able to do tour. shows? Yeah. Shit. Millions. What would you spend in the week? My bills is high. What, no, what would you spend in the week when you was running around touring just on drip? Oh, man. Just on, what would you spend in about a week? At least 50. That ain't bad. Quarantine affect me. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You were spending, did you realize you what, was it that you were Hell spending too much? You yeah. Safe? Hell yeah. But luckily, like he said, Tatiana was like, I, I took that to the face. So it's still going. Like, what you mean? This is crazy. So apparently, this is crazy but understandable. Before the pandemic, Blueface said in this interview that he spends about fifty thousand a week, or he did spend fifty thousand a week before the pandemic. So potentially, the pandemic opened up his eyes to another form of financial situations. Feel me? Started his OnlyFans. And boom, his OnlyFans is making bread. Right? Potentially, you can't please the fans when you start OnlyFans in the way he did. He created something new and different. Obviously, reality TV shows has been here. You feel me? A while. But I feel like by him doing the only like him incorporating that into OnlyFans is only right. Feel me? Craziest thing is though the fact that Blueface is really upset and responding to like a lot of people that saying that he doing this for the bread or whatever the case, right? But the main idea, the main goal uh, as an artist is to spend a lot of bread. I mean, who, who lying the best about how much money they have and how much bread they're spending? It's crazy. Like 50000 a week. 50, spending 50000 a week is an absurd amount of money. Right? At this point, it's like, how far, how much could one take? Or one bank account take? Feel me? Yeah, he said something about owning his publishing or something. I know his deal is trash. At least the deal that I think he signed. I don't know how long or whatever, but every time you sign a 360 deal, you messing yourself over. For me, uh, why do people sign 360 deals? They sign 360 deals because whoever they bought, whoever brought them to the big one of the biggest labels. In which that's what happens when you have a big song or two or three or whatever the case. Like boom, let's let's make up a, a person name. This artist go by the name of Lil J. Lil J got a, a hot song, boom goes viral. His next song, boom, is going crazy too. Maybe not as much as the first one, but it's still going crazy. I mess around and we f we link up, we find each other, like we somehow basically exchange phone numbers or whatever the case. I ask him, can I be his manager? Boom. I potentially bring him to a label, one of the biggest labels that's running music and stuff like that to get a deal for him. As soon as he signed that contract, I potentially get money 
recently NBA Youngboy dropped a song called Some OJ. In the song, he basically spoke on Kevin Gates basically receiving 10% pretty much of, I want to say about, of everything he dropped. Everything that was monetized and made money from, I think Kevin Gates received 10%, like a 10% finder's royalties check, you feel me? And you can't blame him because, you know, it's kind of like, he kind of, it, this happens a lot. Like, I want to say a young boy helped out Quando Rondo with his deal, but Kevin Gates potentially helped out NBA young boy with his deal also, you feel me? And it's like a 10% like check they would receive. I thought it was only like one time thing, but apparently it's like an ongoing thing since you found them. You found them so much bread, basically, you feel me? But to say you spent 50000 a week, that's crazy. I mean, if you got it, you got it, but at the same time, now he now it seems like Blueface is looking at like, like, a lot of people after this pandemic is over, I feel like they either going to go back to how it was or they basically going to change that's going to help them out, feel me? If, if you think about it, though, they basically going to do what they've been doing or they're going to change for the better, I feel like. Because people going to start realizing, like, hey, I don't really need this. I don't really need that. Or, hey, I can make this much from home, you know? Like, why do I even need to go out, you feel me? Think I should take the camera? Hmm? Think I should take the camera? Mm hmm You still getting videos. Huh? So you still getting videos. You leaving right now, right now? Not right now, I'm finna take them out. Yeah, they're not gonna be done by then. But I really don't need them because I still haven't edited the other videos. So that's the But uh, the reason why I added this clip before my videos is because I feel like people expect me to put the whole entire video inside of my video which they could just go watch the actual video if they wanted to have or see the whole video. Tell them why, though. Well, it's because of copyrighted reasons. You know what I'm saying? It's a copyrighted issue. You know, if you take, if you, if, if I get, if I want to make my own barbecue sauce, and I literally just steal the, their ingredients right off the back of the, the bottle or whatever the case, I could easily get sued. But if I use salt or some sort of other ingredient ex to add to it or maybe take away, then I easily could sell my own barbecue sauce. What? They can put it in Yeah, I guess. I mean, I just need this video to be two minutes. That's why it's dragging out this long, but... Yeah. I look sexy. Excuse me? I'm sexy and I know it. I just want to touch you. Show you this.